I acknowledge that the Ryzen 7000 series is amazing with all the new architectural improvements but I feel like AMD is trying to take some advantage with its new naming scheme to sell what looks like a Zen 4 but in reality is not. Here I am specifically talking about the mobile CPUs because both Intel and AMD generally make more laptop CPUs than their desktop counterparts. The problem is not that big when it comes to understanding every mobile CPU whether it ends with the letter U, H or HX but the problem is far more concerning when the company changes the name of a CPU or series to the point when you can't distinguish between two different generations of processors. The nomenclature AMD is using for its Ryzen 7000 mobile series CPUs is so bad that no matter how many times you try to remember it, you will end up getting confused every time. Two days ago when video cards posted a leaked benchmark of the Ryzen 7730U processor, the title included Zen 3 in inverted commas which caught my attention. It was of course my fault that I came to this new naming scheme later because AMD already revealed it the last month. I was surprised to see that there are as many as 5 different Ryzen 7000 series for laptops each having the same 7000 naming scheme but all having different architectures. Contrary to what you would assume, Ryzen 7000 on a laptop does not mean that you are getting a Zen 4 CPU but you may also get a Zen 3 Plus, Zen 3 or even a Zen 2 based CPU. Unlike desktop CPUs, you have to keep in mind the final two digits of your CPU instead of the first two and apparently each series is made on a different process node and is so much different in specs from the other. Not only you have to take care of how many cores and threads and the cache memory the processors of each series bring but you also have to compare their integrated graphics. It is not like the Zen 2 based 7000 series brings older iGPUs but it is actually the opposite. Here the 7030 series is not only made on a bigger process node of 7 nanometers, but also brings Vega 8 as an iGPU which is older than the RDNA 2 that is packed with the Zen 2 based 7020 series. Again you have to see how many GPU cores each of these series bring because 8 Vega cores will be faster in gaming than just 2 RDNA 2 cores. As you go towards the faster series, you will see even more confusion. Despite AMD calling the Dragon Range 7045 CPUs to be made for extreme gaming and creator specific purposes, it brings just two cores of RDNA 2 based iGPU but the 7040 and 7035 series that are supposedly made for ultra and premium thin laptops bring much better iGPU based on the RDNA 2 and RDNA 3 architectures. Now I do not want to go back and discuss AMD's roadmaps for laptops because this 7000 series chart alone is terrifying to understand and will easily mislead many into buying the wrong laptops because most users just look at the CPU model and not search for their architectures. Now as far as the desktop Ryzen CPUs are concerned, you might already know that the 3D vCache equipped 7000 CPUs are going to launch this month and we already have a few leaked benchmarks of the flagship 7900X3D and the 7950X3D CPUs. The 7900X3D benchmark may not be very useful for now because it was tested in Ashes of the Singularity which is quite an unreliable test for comparing the performance of two CPUs. Someone tested it with an RTX 4090 and got a maximum of 9100 points which is far behind even the non-3D edition but of course we know how the 5800X3D was far ahead of even the top of the line Ryzen 5000 series CPUs. So the 7900X3D should also outperform the non-3D CPUs in game. The other leaked benchmark numbers were of the 7950X3D which showed that it is 10% slower in multi-threaded performance compared to the non-3D edition. Of course the story is also similar to Ashes of the Singularity benchmark because the Geekbench 5 database is filled with varying numbers for each CPU. What's more important is that these two 3D CPUs should not lose in gaming to the non-3D editions because the extra cache is what makes these CPUs faster than the regular Ryzen CPUs. As we will come close to the launch date of these CPUs, we are probably going to see more leaked benchmarks as reviewers are testing these chips on different platforms and we might even see something related to the more popular 7800X 3D which is set to launch in April. Lastly we have got an official review of the Radeon RX 7600S based on the RDNA 3 architecture. It was notebook check that not only tested the new ASUS Tough Gaming A16 Advantage Edition featuring the 7600S but also compared it to a few laptops, some of them featuring the laptop 3060 GPU. The 7600S did quite well overall and proved itself to be a good match for the 3060 laptop GPU. In some tests it did better like in 3D Mark it was able to outperform the 30 
3060 by at least 10% margin, but in gaming, the RTX 3060 seemed to have an easy upper hand with 15-20% to higher performance. The laptop looked ideal for 1080p gaming and also had a very good battery life of up to 20 hours, which Notebook Check calls an absolute selling point. It should be kept in mind that the 7600S is not the fastest laptop GPU from AMD but is aimed at lightweight gaming laptops. The performance is adequate but the pricing is a little bit higher than the laptops featuring the RTX 3060. Let's hope that the RX 7000M series can prove itself to be a good competitor to the RTX 4060 laptop GPU because AMD already boasted about the 7600M XT being faster than the 3060 desktop GPU. That's all for today but before you go I want you to guess the socket of the motherboard shown on the screen. What do you think which socket is this and have you ever seen a motherboard with triple cooling fans for the VRM? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you want to stay updated with the latest PC hardware news. You can also follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description and I will see you in the next one.